All right, hello everyone. Welcome to our. What's tonight, Ben? Prepare, Prepare like, a... like a pro. Prepare like a pro. Prepare like a pro night uh, with me and Ben Simon, my tormentor tonight, because there's no one's here. There's a there's an event about the uh, the 50th anniversary of a match between Kaspar uh, Fisher Spassky. Uh, just right across the street, and music is out being played. Everybody's having fun. It was ladies' night before this. There was there was wine and cheese and everything. And then now we're sitting here with Ben. There's no one here, and we are with you guys going over hippo. So what's the complete name, Ben? Hey, uh, I, I work. Hippopotamus defense. Potamus. Hippopotamus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, that's the problem when when you learn English as a second language. Hippopotamus. Okay, let's see the party time. So, why did I choose hippopotamus? So, two reasons. First is I played at the, in the U.S. Open, and those who were here last night, I was... Were you here last night, Ben? You were here. You were not? No. You were not here last night? No. That I went over 15 minutes and everybody hated me here? Wasn't me. Wasn't, wasn't, you, you weren't here, yeah. Yep. So, yeah, I went over time, so I, I was covering... Uh, my games at the US Open and how I qualified and, and then I got very excited and proud of of my win against uh, Ilya Nizhnik and then uh, I went over time and people wanted to to leave so I kept everyone here so uh, this is my round five game and still uh, those who were here last night it's from the sixth day from the uh, traditional 90s schedule and uh, so this kid John Luger or Luger, right? John beat I am uh, Timothy Taylor, who was the second seed in my group, from a losing position. And I could tell he plays very fast, very intuitively, has a good sense for the game, but he doesn't really calculate much. And uh, I thought, okay, a long game would be good. So I usually, when I want a long game, sometimes, sometimes, I, I was recently mostly hardly ever, I play. I play um, Perk Modern Defense, so and then he played C3, and told myself, oh, wait a second, it's not the most optimal setup against uh, Hippo, so so Hippopotamus it is. So I play Knight D7, Bishop E3, I played B6, Knight D2. Guys, I just want to say, if he goes Bishop C4, I must go here E6, because if I go this way, he's got some nasty stuff going on. Yeah. No, not fun not fun Ben although wait a second does it work actually maybe it doesn't work actually 96 let's see I'm just being lazy let me just see does this work or is it winning for oh my god it doesn't work huh it doesn't work so that that nasty stuff doesn't work actually I could just get away with it huh doesn't work okay that's all right. So, anyways, he didn't play that. He played knight d2, bishop b7, bishop c4, and I went e6. And actually, this is a very good setup against this, this, this system. Castle, knight e7, rook e1, h6. Just playing the moves. Queen c2, castle, knight f1. And here, okay, a6, a4 was included. Here, I really just could play d5, and I get a very good position. I mean, normal, e takes d5, knight comes to d5. Then I play c5 and queen c7. Fully developed, bishops pieces, pieces in the game, but I just wasn't so sure what to do after this because now e5 is a threat, so I must take on e4. And I wasn't sure that if this simplified position, which I saw and the engine approves, is something I want to play after c5. It's just white is too solid, and I needed complications because I needed to win the game. So then I played the move uh, c5, which is not a great move, and I was aware of it. Played bishop d3, played queen c7, played queen d2. As you can see, he's making normal moves, and they're all good. Because if I don't go d5, and he, and the hippo, that's one of the problems. That's why we are slaying hippo tonight, Ben. That's why that's why we're trying to say, don't play hippo. Is that legal? What's that? Slaying the hippo? Um, it's a good question. It's a good question. I didn't think about it that way. Uh, slaying the hippo. Well, not in Africa, probably. But it probably works here, yeah. Oh dear. Or maybe, wait, do they have hippos in Savannah? 
In Georgia? No? Maybe in a zoo. In a zoo? Okay. Well, I haven't been on a saf safari. Like, only I've been once in Dubai, and that was like a long time ago, and uh, they don't have hippo there, so. But next next time I see a hippo, I wouldn't, I wouldn't slay him and just say, that's just for Ben, Fein ben Simon, Ben Feingold, my God. Well, truth hurts, but that's for Ben Feingold. That one is for Ben Feingold. Okay, C5. Yeah. So C5, Bishop D3. Well, the good thing that no one's here is that we, I can joke with Ben. That's the good part. That's the. Oh, that's yeah, the, no the one's part. watching. No one's, no one's watching. watching. At all. Yeah. No one's watching at all. Just you and I, yep. Yeah. Okay, queen c7, queen d2, king h7. Of course, the queen d2 was attacking the pawn on h6. King h7 and h4. Okay, it's, it's, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, this move, although it probably doesn't address the needs of the position. It's just trying to play the move h5. And he just kind of using this x-ray somehow. But he was playing this very fast, these moves. He wasn't calculating. He was playing intuitively. So I played e5, which I have to. Close the, close the bishop. Played knight g3, knight f6 as well. I mean, knight h2. And then here, I'm, I'm all right. I think if I run the engine, I, I, have, I, have, I have a number of ways to play this position. And I can tell you what, what crossed my mind. So you yeah, take twice, and knight c6 was a move. Uh, knight fg8. Okay, that, this is a weak engine. That didn't cross my mind. This was what, what, what crossed my mind. And... Uh, yeah, I didn't like this. Queen d8, bishop c3. Because whenever I move this knight, it takes the bishop. And if I go knight e5, he just continues with h5. Actually, I thought about rookie d1 in the game, which is still good. Yeah. So I really asked, okay, Elshan, you're in trouble. Your position is bad. So the only thing that I can rely on is that I can complicate things. So I he just captured and I played knight c6. He went rook a c1, queen d8. So this time I keep, keep, keep the pawn on the board, keep the pawns. D and C on the board. And after D5, we have a sort of a Benoni position. I still had to go knight D5. I knew that. I had to go knight D5. But then his responses are were, were again easy. Because here he wants to go F4, H5. So easy to play as, as, as white. So I went knight A5, threatening to go to B3. He spent the tempo playing queen E2. He has yet better responses here. And I played knight D7, attacking this pawn and looking at this move. He played H5, also a normal move. And I played knight D5, which is a mistake. Which is a mistake. I had to go like queen h4 or something else or whatever. But my position was bad, so I was just pl playing fast. He responded fast, as you can see. It's not a great move. He could just play here, f4. That's just it. Just takes knight g4. Just the attack against g6 is too strong, and my position just goes down really fast. So he, he went back bishop b1. Just want to show you very quickly this part of the game. He played knight f1. I played b5, which is a mistake again. Because, and this is the beautiful part of it, uh, that you have to see. Uh, okay, not AB5. Here, not HD6 too, sorry, not, not that capture. Uh, here he can play F4, Knight EC4, and uh, Knight F3. Very strong response. So if I go back, there's E5, and if I take here, queen, Knight G3, traps my queen. Because queen G4 loses to Knight G5, check. You following, Ben? Yes, of course. <laughs> so, uh, he took, and then there is this beautiful moment. Should I give people time to think about positions or not? If you'd like. We have a fair number watching in today. Do, do we have at least 20 people? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Guys, black to play. This is a beautiful tactic I missed, and it's a beautiful one. How about if I give them three, four minutes? Four minutes. Four minutes it is. Okay. In the meantime, just abide. I should ask for a cut from the Coen Brothers for the Big Lebowski. I just keep walking, talking about it. So, it's a beautiful tactic I missed. Hey, Ryan. How are you? Wonderful. Wonderful is good. Hey, you're going to join us? Relax. You want to join us? Yeah. I mean, there's a beautiful tactic here. It's not wine, but it's still nice. It's not what? It's not wine, but it's yeah. nice. I can sit here all night. 
All right. Well, I don't blame you. I don't blame you for not being here. So. Okay, we don't, I don't see in the chat. Is, are they active or something is coming up in the chat or no? They're here, I guess they're checking. Okay. Hey, uh, let's see, suggestions, okay. Okay, Team Prist, okay. Bishop A6, capture, capture here of course, and then Queen back to d2. Thinking. Okay. Let them think a little bit. A couple of minutes. Music is very nice outside, Ben. Yeah, they got a DJ out there. That's great. Shall we go dancing after? No? Well, unfortunately, it all ends in 13 minutes. In 13 minutes there? Yes. Yeah. So we, we're gonna no, no, that goes, until nine, no, that goes until 9. The, the DJ thing goes until 8, but the, the event goes until 9. Is that right? Yes, that's right, yeah. Yes, bishop takes g2. King takes g2, and then oh, not not capture. No, no, no. Now, if you capture there, it takes king and the knight of three. You're down a piece still. Knight of three right away, attacking the knight and the queen must capture. Queen g4 check. It's a very important move. And then king f1, rook takes f3. And the king cannot run away because of rook takes f2 check capture. Rook f8 check, and the king is it a, is a colossal loss of material or a, or a checkmate. So, and otherwise, the threat is this, this mate is coming. And if queen d1, bishop takes b2, uh, rook c2, check, 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 and this follows. Okay, good one. Don't want to spend so much time training tactics. Oops, what was that? Uh, by the way, the mate is right here and beautiful. Where, where's the mate? Hmm. Where's the mate? Hmm. Ah, just maybe check here, check here, no, that runs away, bring it back order, where's the mate guys, maybe this check, huh? Ben, where's the mate, okay, where's the where is the money, Lebowski? I think this is it. Yeah. I'm just gonna oh, oh rook a two, my god. This is embarrassing. This is this is completely embarrassing. Where's the mate? I'm just Because Queen here he goes rook b two. Okay, maybe there is no mate. But Queen A seven just goes goes king takes d six. So you missed this in the game? I missed much earlier than this, but okay, takes check. Okay, this queen a seven check. Ah, queen a seven check. King c six. Oh, queen. I, I don't see the mate. Oh my god! I I saw this position and then I didn't see queen a six mate. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yep. The first candidate to finish last in the U.S. Championship. I mean, come on! I didn't see that. All right. I was just looking at it. There's, there should be a mate. In fact. When I looked at queen takes e4, I, th I thought I saw a mate, but just, it just kind of got blurry in my head. I am. Okay, anyways, uh, not much wasting your time. He played queen a4, I played knight c4, played this move, not a great move, and after this I got an initiative and gradually I converted. But what we can see is that my position sucked for the most part. Let's just face it. So then I thought about, okay, wait a second. 
what's my experience with 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 this with this system from white side oh i won this easy game against uh, timor Gorev. and uh let me show you that one and even it was without any prep i mean let me just save it and let me show you that one too uh, so yeah so this was a, i was on the white side i already had lost my game one against someone who played some some hybrid system of hippo tigran petros and another world champion another uh, armenian grandmaster so we play this and it's kind of like a hippo this one bishop c4 and bishop g7 so i played it's very solid and he's just trying to get the hippo this time even in a more in a more uh, aggressive way because oh, where's is, where's is my where's my chat here's my chat yep um so here i played the same way but then here i came up with this very nice concept because i was very i was very focused during the game so i came up with this very nice concept because now after h5 i found this very beautiful maneuver g3 knight i was so proud i was so proud look at this let me just run the engine and this is a this i played in 2016 or even before that and look at it look at this look at this Oof. uh-huh I'm too good. Too good, Ben Simon. Yep. Anyways. So I played this, and then I just developed my pieces. And the lack of a space due to Hippo. Hippo. Uh, the, this, I just developed my pieces. Push the, push the pawns. Get the space. Weakening his position. Look at this knights. I mean. <laughs> completely out of the game really was one of my better games when I was a when I was still a professional so there a6 I went there King h8 is trying to waste some time Bishop f2 just making sure my pieces are good I and mean, look at this again these three pieces are just out of the game completely out of the game and any piece sacrificed wouldn't get anywhere d takes e5 and then finally I just just again made, making sure because he wants maybe to some sac sacrifice also it was a rapid game there, there, rook d1, maintaining my pressure. The next coming is knight. This is this is my next plan, right? Went there and rook d7. He he fell for this, and then he was so bad that he resigned. You know, it just it's it just black has absolutely no counterplay. Anyways, this was a nice crushing win, and I was very happy about it at the time. So then I thought, oh wait a second, hip hip hop. Hippopotamus doesn't really do much for, for black and if, if white knows what he's doing and well I'm lucky I won this game with black but let's just see what this opening is about actually so I, I, I search for the main line and uh, I'm sure many people have have had this one covered but um, since I work with the uh, Thinker Publisher uh, in one of their books uh, one e4 bible uh, justin tan grandmaster had this one kind of covered i checked it i liked it uh there are a few things i may not have liked it as much but uh but i'm going to cover it here uh so mostly these are his his analysis some of it are some of it are mind extending it so this is the the typical the tabia the, the position of hippopotamus let me okay yeah and 97. Uh, B5 is very interesting, actually. It's one of the lines that the book covers really nicely and finds this key idea before because I'm 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 blocking the pawn and I'm adding the uh, the le how do you sp how do you pronounce this L I V E R lever? Lever. No, no, sorry, L E V A R, not lever. the organ. Lever, lever. Yes, using the lever there. Yeah, lever. Yes, like to to yeah yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, and then a4 is coming. It's not as obvious. I mean, the, the evaluation in the book says here white is clearly better. I would, I would say it's white is slightly better um, because black has some sort of like an active plan and it needs a bit of a clarification. So this was my further analysis of a, of a correspondence game. So it goes up to this point, then going back to c7 because queen takes e4 just runs into knight d4 and then bishop f3 is coming knight c6 just this queen is very uncomfortable including and including the fact that black is not developed on the queen side 
he's he's having uh, a hard time. So in fact, more than a hard time, he's just completely lost. Um, so must play queen back c7, knight e2, defending the pawn, bishop e7. And if you just play it on with extra pawn, black has obvious compensations with with, with active with active bishops and uh, active pieces. And this knight is not really fantastically placed. So in the game, white played rook b1 which my engine work showed that actually it's not that great of a move. So a5 is my novelty over this correspondence uh, game. Pinning down this pawn on a f uh, over here, then probably some sort of a f3, knight c4 is coming, and uh, if you work on it, it must be winning for white. So uh, that's for b5, and if, and if the move uh, b6 is being played, you just develop the pieces and you just kind of get another transposition to the, to the main line. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, knight e7 was played, queen d2, h6, rook f e1, just, I like, I like the way the book uh, approaches this kind of position, it's, it's very much in accordance to my chess philosophy, and life, life philosophy to just not tonight, because you're not joining the party, but I always am about to bring the deuce to the party, I always go to the party, always have, always have everyone in the party, all the dudes must be in the party, so, and if, g5 then it's the same as the my game against Gareev. you go h4 g4 knight h2 h5 now black's play on the king side is completely suppressed and stopped with this good prophylactic play and then you just expand on the queen side and you just enjoy the extra space you have b6 bishop g5 there d5 and you just yeah this is just really black doesn't doesn't know what to do next and this i have very simple improvement moves which 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 puts uh, white ahead in almost everything. So that's for g5. That's uh, so b6 must be played. Rook a d1. Bishop b7. Um, h3. Just another waiting move. The, the thing is that now now here, black has some some problem because uh, cannot castle. You cannot castle king side because the pawn on h6 is on pre's. Hmm? Uh, actually, I have to make it red. And uh, so I have to try to do something. So I either can play g5, b5, or actually march this king over here. Over here, that's very seems very artificial, but actually it's been tried before. So let's look at the move uh, g5 first. All right, let me give everyone Ben. How about three minutes, huh? What do you think? What do you think? What plan will you come up with for here for white? It's one of the critical ideas that they have to know. Okay, let me get to the chat because where's the chat? That's, here's my chat. When was this game started? This is not a game, this is theory. Oh. Okay, two more minutes. This plan is very important to know. This is a, like you need to know few ideas for, for white. One is that in b5 you have b4, a4. Here, when they go g5, this is a very important one. We'll see in the next game of Nepomniachtchi that uh, he missed the win at the end, but uh, how he executed the right plan against uh, Wei Yi. Ben, what do you play in this position? You don't know? Will you resign? No. No? 
You will not resign? Are you sure? Okay. That works for me. Now, it's, uh, for, it's a bit... Uh, well, we have Mr. Tim Priest uh, here, and we are, we, are, we are here quoting the Chess Bible. So that kind of is very ironically cool. So, uh, uh, Tim, uh, f, knight h2, f4 is a bit slow. We go d5. That's a very important move to know. Not knight h2, no. f4, d5. Because if they go e5, now I have these squares all the weekend because of the move g5. That's why the move d5 is very strong against wait, against uh, against g5 because it begins. And now in h 2 now I have all these squares. So you have to include the move d5 at first because if they go moves like for example knight g6, knight d4 pressuring, and now he must take on d4. Otherwise, you have all these jumps. For example, you want to go d6, bishop h5, and opening the game. And because your pieces, your dudes are in the party. Blacks are not, he's gonna have a problem. Knife f5, that's also coming, yes. So yeah, this is going to be extremely nasty for, for black. Taking okay, this is better, but still this bishop is misplaced because it's not all suppressed and blocked, and you really need this bishop over here. By the time you try to do that, I, the book says this, but I mean you can always even play this move and then try to be g3. Bishop goes to f5, g3, kick the knight, it's all good. So that g5 is, is going to be met with d5. Now, uh, we, we talked about that. If knight f6 is trying to pressure bishop d3, b5, a3, just to stop that. But now, black doesn't have the breakthroughs either c5. Black needs one of these moves, one of these four moves to get some space. Oh, sorry, that's illegal. And now none of them works. So yes, it's not collapsing, but now after knight h2, now, because he hasn't played any of those space gaining moves, we have knight h2 f4. Then we improve a little bit, and then finally we have queen f1, knight there, h4. All the tactics work. I, I don't want to bore you. I, I don't think it, it will bore you, but I mean, there's, there's queen e5. I mean, engine was saying castle. Let me see why, why queen e5 is not working. I forgot to mention that. I mean, there, there is some. Jesus, c3. Okay. That wasn't easy. I, I should have I should have included that. All right, that is above everyone's paycheck. That's the engine's paycheck. And we win the queen. But this advantage is not is not tangible enough in my opinion. It still has to, some work has to be done here. Anyways, yep. Yeah. Anyways, all right. So. This was Black's best play, in my opinion. Knight h2 is, is the book's recommendation. So that's for knight f6. So if you are playing as Black, my recommendation is go knight f6. Because otherwise, Black has clear, White has clear plan. Like if you try the king f8 one, there, there, knight e2. I'm just bringing my pieces over here. King h7, knight g3, c5, c3. Capture, capture, knight f6. Bishop f4, rook f8. Okay, he got the artificial castling. But now you can just play like Mr. John Luger, which is what, guys? What did John Luger do against me? Hmm? What did John Luger do against me? Let me give everyone three minutes here to think about it. Okay, you guys, you were here. We all saw John Luger was winning against me.
Okay, let me just give it a little bit more time. H4. Just go for the X-ray. Knight G4. No, no, no. Queen E2. Just maintain the pressure. King G8, H5. Now the move G5 is not obviously working because of this capture. And if capture back, then uh, this, this, this. It's painful. There and then e5 and um, bishop c4 is also equally good. The book suggests e5 and then white opens up. All of white's pieces are in there in attack. There's a massive pressure on on black's king. Uh, engine is only giving plus one in this position, but that's for the engines. Over the board, it looks like just game over. Black's king looks very busted. All right, so that's for king f8. I still don't find this as compellingly winning, but it's still good enough. And I think that's what the engines also suggest. So, and everybody likes to go by the engine's choice. And I mean, given that, you know, all my pieces are kind of a little bit crammed here, that's the, the best way I, I could unwind my pieces. So give this credit to this, to this plan. <clears throat> and B5. And now this time I go d5. This is the only time we meet b5 because now he's ready to play knight b6. This is the only time because my rook has already departed from a1 that I face b5 with the move d5. This is the only time. And after e5, there is this very beautiful positional idea for white. A regrouping, very, very nice deep idea that uh, white plays and that secures advantage for white in this position. If you do not play this move, black can end up on top. So you really have to be careful knowing this position and knowing this move. So I'm gonna give everyone another three minutes. Hmm? Ben, what do you say? Another three minutes to people? Yeah. I don't know because I want people to get engaged in it and it seems that we don't get much in the chat. So whatever feel like that is the right amount of time. I mean, you, you kind of have to think about it. I, I had the engine running, I had the book in my hand and uh, I kind of know this kind of position because I play against Kings Indian. I have played Kings Indian as black, but uh, all right, three minutes it is. Ben is like, just shut up and continue. That's the look on his face. But well, this is very important. So someone says, be like Andrew, who is Andrew Tate? Is he a chess player? Maybe you mean Imori Tate? The international master? Uh, yeah, Emory Tate. It, it looks like he also went by Andrew Tate. Okay. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay.
but his name was Emery Tate. Uh, not too sure that's the Emery oh. Tate we're talking about. Uh, Tim says yes, it, He's that's the his son. son of Emery Tate. Okay, okay. A rather infamous character, character apparently. I don't know. I, I don't I don't follow guys on social media. I mean, the only guys I'm the only people I'm following are Ben Simon and Sabino, right? <laughs> Those are the only people I'm following on the social media. <laughs> and my cat and Regina. Well, I kind of have to follow my mom too because she made me, but not before Tim. Before five is coming. Wow, I learned something cool. You see, if it wasn't for tonight, if you were over there, we would never learn about Andrew, Andrew Tate. You see how important was that to, to be here tonight, Ben? Now, G4 is just too much. So it's, it's indeed too loosening. Bishop D3, very strong move. This move opens the file in case of F5 eyeballing this square and freeze this square for the knight. So it's a very multi-purpose strong move here. So if he goes f5 now, capture, capture knight h4, f4, bishop takes f4. Now having the file open is a decisive factor. Um, yeah, knight g6 is coming, uh, or bishop g6, so many good moves here. Uh, so knight, knight, knight b6 would be played a4 now takes and rook a1 is a good move knight a2 i mean anything is good knight e2 was suggested in the book i like that move c6 d takes c6 knight takes c6 knight back to c c3 i'm going to win that pawn with rook a1 knight d4 and here comes another very strong move in the book very engine like move uh this is a hard one i'm gonna give three minutes on this one then after that we could just make a small wrap up on this and then I'll show you one one thematic game, and now you know how to slay the opening hippopotamus. So I'm not into this whole gravity thing. So no more hippo, huh? I'm just gonna be very very thorough. That's for sure. Okay, I think it's a little bit difficult. The move is bishop f1, next clam, and that's, uh, that is credit to the book. Good job. Knight takes f3, g takes f3. Uh, now d6 is hanging, must play back, and then rook a1, attacking the pawn, bishop there, and f4. So black is up a pawn, but he just cannot develop. For example, the move f5 is coming, maybe, and knight d5 is coming, but if you're watching this video and you get into this position, you are wrong if you just look at this position and just walk away while he's better. No, you need to spend some time with the engine. 
winning from this position is this a plus one mm -hmm. for engines i don't understand what the plus one is for like stockfish 15. the uh the the measure the uh i don't know the gauge like the like in the uh uh in, in, in a car has been really manipulated in the past years and the, the word advantage plus one which used to mean a pl one pawn or just like w close to winning or something like that they mean different things so uh, engine can say oh he's winning but we don't understand why and the measures are being really altered to the, the way that the engines can play better so the, the engines would understand its own evaluation better so will i say what is clearly better in a very human sense yes but you have to spend the time to learn it not you ben you don't don't learn it okay don't stay the hippos don't don't just stay away from them no safari for for you in a long time to Af to africa Thank you. we send you where do you want me to send send you singapore maybe for example huh how does that sound no, that's okay that's, that's okay tokyo you like to go to tokyo we send ben to tokyo fantastic yeah. we send ben to tokyo yeah. i'm actually going to new zealand myself oh and, uh, that's great yeah i'm going to new zealand in the, uh, january 1st uh, i mean i'll arrive there on january 1st yeah, so I go to New Zealand. We send we send Ben to Tokyo. No safari for me. No 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 safari for Ben too. Just we st yeah. Are you gonna have a New Year's toast on the plane? Yes. Oh, interesting. I've I've had that once before too. Flying out of Las Vegas to Frankfurt. Interesting. Yes, I've had that before too once. So I'm I'm not new to it. That was my first trip as an as an American. That was very memorable. First time leaving the country as an American felt great that was the first time they were asking me what they were they did not ask me where i come from and what's the purpose of my visit it felt really good just saying so uh yeah this is a very good position so yeah this file i'm i mean you guys don't share files right but i mean they can they can see the moves i kind of put almost everything here and uh, i'm gonna wrap up just by showing a quick game of nepomniachi against uh against the Wei Yi and we send we send you guys chasing hippos so we have the position or oh, it started with a4 this time but you know the ideas now so this queen d2 h6 h3 g5 so we said against g5 what do we do guys we go d5 always g5 is met with d5 and then that's what that's what uh that's what nepo knew just pretty well there there and knight h2 now going for the, for these squares again man i i think i made a career out of this thing i'm these squares like how you, if you know how many games i have won in king's indian winning against these weak squares there i mean be my guest taking because i can just reinforce i capture f3 knight goes here Bishop of five, there, g3. Okay, so now uh, he tries to complicate things because I cannot go g takes f4 because g takes f4 runs into g takes back f4. So he goes f3. Ah, Tim, I'm not bullying the king, King's Indian. I was a King's Indian player myself, Tim. Just, it's it's a very difficult opening. That's all I'm saying. For example, there is uh, this uh, player, Grandmaster Theodoro, from Greece, he's he's doing a great job playing it. But if you're not prepared to the T, I'm sorry, I have to say it's 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 it doesn't it's not gonna work. You're either a guy like Theodoro, Cotronias, these guys like the Greeks are really good at, at Kings Indian, the Greek grandmasters. Uh, top notch players, I don't know. Grishok used to play, but I don't know. Wasn't easy to follow Grishok. Um we almost don't see it in in the above twenty seven hundred level. Um Rook G8, uh, King H1, yeah, it's it's just very hard to play. And then G takes F4. So uh, Wei Yi was playing all in, and uh, he plays some tactics here: capture, capture, Queen G5, throw the sink at his opponent. And here, Nep only needed a draw to qualify, so he let his opponent give perpetual. um but uh how does white win this position white has a winning move here 
So the game continued. If I show it, it will show the. If I show the move, it will show the other alternative. He played knight e3 in the game, but knight e3 is not the winning move. It's a very hard move. Actually, I have to add it to my to my contents for my students. It's a very interesting move here. You can find it with the process of elimination. So Ben found it, huh? Up. So what I know is what I know I need is that I have to bring the queen to defend the king because remember I'm up two pieces so I'm, I'm facing the mating threat over here on g2 so I'm gonna play should we wrap it up Ben or giving them some more time Good job, Tim. Wow, he found it. Good job, Tim. Yes. Now, bishop h4, Emily, just take it. And then rook comes in. Bishop b6, capture. Now, bishop g3 also takes this. And then queen f2. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Not queen f2. Knight h2 first. Because if he takes, we take back. Then we simply consolidate with queen d3, knight d3, knight d4, knight f3, and just controlling all the light squares, and he doesn't have any play. Oh, bishop h4, yes, there's a, there's a mate. Is a mate bishop h4. Now I was talking about knight, um, knight bishop g3. We take it. That's what I meant. We take it. Bishop bishop leaving there. Yeah, there's a mate on g1. You cannot leave that one too. Bishop e3 runs to the same thing. Oh my god, I'm so tired. What are you laughing at? No, because the thing is, when I blunder, Ben. It feels very bad. When I blunder mate, it feels very bad. I, I understand. What's that? I understand. No, what what you're laughing at? It's just you're very tired. No, it's not that. It's it's just it feels bad when I when I didn't mention the Queen G1 mate. It feels bad. You know, during the during the stream today, I missed a few mates. I, and I won all my games actually in the stream. But I just was missing mate and I was continuously, you know. When you played two hours, the first hour I was playing sharp, good games, fun games, you know, there were things to, to play, things both players would miss. But then, some coffee, I already had a lot of coffee today. I think I, I've, had, I have, I've, I've had a little bit, thanks for Tim. I think it's too late for coffee at, at, at 8.25. So, so, yeah, and then I started hanging mate, hanging queen, and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my God, what's wrong with me? And that feeling I'm talking about, not, not just the fatigue or being tired. I mean, everybody gets tired at the end of the day. But that thing that you miss mate and you haven't done enough tactics, that feels, it, it, just, it just, you know, guys, you feel like you, you're losing your mojo. It's a killer. You're losing your, when you feel like you're losing your mojo, man, I feel so, so done. It, it, it feels worse than anything. When, when I play good chess, I feel alive, you know, just, this is, this is me doing my thing. And then when I don't, uh, but I have to accept it, you know, it comes with the age and the fact that I'm not a professional player anymore. Anyways, bishop b6 is the move. He played knight d3 and after this conceded to the perpetual check, the game in the draw. Okay, I hope you guys had fun. We slayed the hippopotamus. If you want a good, good account on that, check the hippopotamus part, uh, Hippopotamus part. Oh my God, this, I'm I'm too tired even to to pronounce it correctly. Of course, Tim. Uh, are you getting existential here? No, I I I'm a stoist. What are you talking about, man? I'm an I'm a stoist. Yes, a slash hedonist. 
no don't don't label me epicorean maybe maximum you can get along with me yeah mostly epicorean so uh yes that is me uh i hope you guys had fun if you want to check the book i think the the content in the book is very solid about this one i'm sure other books have similar stuff too as well but this one i got it from club i checked it it was solid very solid there are a few things that you can improve but all in all i give it a good pass if you want to slay hippo we'll have some other some other questionable openings next time and hopefully with some audience here too without ben ben simon yes plus me plus me. what's that plus me plus you okay yeah. plus ben simon well well, it's me and Ben now. Okay, signing off, huh? Voila. Voila. Have a good night, everyone. Take care.